This goes without saying, I am a very opinionated person, and chances are if you're watching this, you're also a really opinionated person. So when it comes to politicians in Congress, there's nobody who's perfect. There's nobody who I align with 100%. I align pretty closely with uh, some individuals in Congress. Um, but even if I align with them 100% on policy, I maybe disagree with them with regard to uh, strategy. Having said all of that, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is doing a damn good job at representing me. And even if I don't necessarily agree with everything that she does or I dislike a vote that she casts, I will never deny that she is genuinely trying her best and she actually wants to affect change. And she has a command of policy details that people who have been in Congress for decades still lack. She's doing a phenomenal job. So it really is disheartening to me to see all of the attacks lobbed against her. I mean, the minute she won her primary, she was public enemy number one for Republicans. They tried to demonize her, smear her dishonestly, and it is truly heartbreaking. And, you know, all of this that AOC experiences, I mean, it's not even a fraction of what Ilhan Omar faces. But still, when you have so many members of Congress taking corporate money, representing only their donors, to see all of the... Um, hatred be directed to people who are actually trying to make a difference it pisses me off it really pisses me off um so when i heard that a republican verbally accosted aoc at the capitol i i really took it personal it it angered me because he took issue with something that she said and the response was to basically have a meltdown to her rather than trying to be an adult and vocalize his disagreements like a grown-up. Like, this is such a weird story. So as Mike Lillis of The Hill reports, tensions flared on Capitol Hill this week when a Republican lawmaker challenged Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez on issues of crime and policing in an unusual and decidedly personal confrontation on the Capitol steps. Representative Ted Yoho was coming down the steps on the east side of the Capitol on Monday, having just voted when he approached Ocasio-Cortez, who was ascending into the building to cast a vote of her own. In a brief but heated exchange, which was overheard by a reporter, Yoho told Ocasio-Cortez she was quote-unquote disgusting for recently suggesting that poverty and unemployment are driving a spike in crime in New York City during the coronavirus pandemic. You are out of your freaking mind, Yoho told her. Ocasio-Cortez shot back, telling Yoho he was being rude. The two then parted ways. Ocasio-Cortez headed into the building, while Yoho, joined by Representative Roger Williams, began descending toward the House office buildings. A few steps down, Yoho offered a parting thought to no one in particular. Fucking bitch, he said. That kind of confrontation hasn't ever happened to me, ever, she said. I've never had that kind of abrupt, disgusting kind of disrespect levied at me. Approached a few hours later, Yoho declined to discuss any aspect of the exchange. No comment, he said. Yeah, so as a millennial, um, I have had that kind of like disrespect lobbed at me from older people who think, oh, well, just because you're younger, you know, that doesn't mean that you have the wisdom that I have. You know, uh, you don't know about this or you're naive. You're insane to suggest this or that, you know. So I kind of like I, I took the attack that he lobbed against her personally because that condescension is something that I've personally experienced. But on top of that, let's play a game here. Let's assume that the roles were reversed and AOC approached him uh, because he said something about Medicare for all that it's a, a government takeover, something stupid about Medicare for all. He attacked it, and she approached him and confronted him, and uh, she called him a fucking asshole or a fucking dickhead. Could you imagine the outrage that we'd hear from Republicans? I mean, Fox News would cover it and cry about there being no civility or decorum. Donald Trump would tweet about it and demand that she apologize. Um, a lot of Republicans, Mitch McConnell, Ted Cruz, would tweet about this and say that she's disgusting for saying that and being disrespectful. They would be calling on Nancy Pelosi to uh, remove her from committee assignments. I mean, we know exactly what Republicans would do because we've seen the way that they've reacted. Um, when uh, Rashida Tlaib, for example, said, we're going to impeach the motherfucker, they lost their minds. They lost their minds. But here, when a Republican congressman calls one of his colleagues a fucking bitch, I mean, nothing. All of that talk about decorum and civility and respect goes out the window. It goes out the window, right? 
Chuck Grassley isn't taking to uh, the floor to uh, denounce this lack of civility. We're not going to see Fox News call out Yoho here for what he said. Uh, nothing. Because there's a double standard. They are allowed to treat us with no respect. They're allowed to openly disrespect us and, you know, uh, vocalize their contempt for us. And that's fine. That's to be expected. But if the shoe's on the other foot, well, they're entitled to our respect. I mean, this is, um, this is infuriating to me. Now, AOC later tweeted about this saying, I never spoke to Representative Yoho before he decided to accost me on the steps of the nation's capital yesterday. Believe it or not, I usually get along fine with my GOP colleagues. We know how to check our legislative sparring at the committee door. But hey, bitches get stuff done. So, I mean, needless to say, I think that she handled it a lot more responsibly and mature than I would have. I would have fired back and called him a prick. Um, something like that. It's just, you know, this is only acceptable if... Um, it's being done to the left or to someone who is younger because there's this assumption, um, this ageist assumption that young people don't know any better. Someone like AOC to suggest something uh, that he disagrees with. That's just outrageous. Um, it's just it's so infuriating that you see this. Um, and will her colleagues in the Democratic Party come to her defense? I mean, maybe you get a couple of them, but will Nancy Pelosi call for civility? Will Chuck Schumer speak out against this uh, lack of decorum, lack of mutual respect among colleagues? Probably not. But I mean, this is uh, no surprise. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that we shouldn't talk about it and uh, shame people who uh, are hypocrites here.